The first official trailer for the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, has officially come. So, I am here to talk about it. What is this place? Uh-oh. So, of course, I just have to do this trailer review for the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Before, you know, the poster released, I was skeptical about the idea because I feel like a second Spongebob movie really isn't needed. Then, if you happen to watch my video called Sponge Out of Water and CGI, what? 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 There's like three what's in the title. <laughs> yeah, if you saw my video on that, you obviously knew that I was not very happy when I saw the first official poster for the film. And the CGI just looked like crap when I was looking at the poster. I was just not very happy. And there were some comments that agreed with me. There were some comments that disagreed with me. Those that disagreed, that's totally understandable. I look back at that video and say, okay, yeah, maybe I am overreacting a little bit. But how I felt the day I made that video, I was not lying. And I had to just express it out, you guys. Because, you know, it's not good to hold your feelings and You just have to... Let it out. Now that I've seen the trailer though, do I feel better? Are all of my worries with this film away now? Oh, fuck to the spongy yes. This trailer looks fucking great. And when I say fucking great, I mean it looks so fantastic. I'm already gonna say this guys, this looks like it could actually be better than the original. And I do like the original, but I feel like the sequel could prove a pawn on that. First of all, I am so happy that at least some of the movie is going to be in traditional animation. Because as I've stated in my Sponge Out of Water video, we are really lacking traditional animation films. And I really miss that. And even though this movie isn't going to be entirely traditional, we are going to still get some moments of traditional animation. And you know what? I'm just grateful to see some traditional animation again. And as for the CGI in this trailer, does it work? Does it mix well with the human world? Well, in my opinion, it actually does. And the characters look exactly how they are going to look in the movie. And see if they were in CGI form. What I also love about the CGI animation is how, you know, the, the characters are really cartoony. Like, it's like kind of like the Looney Tunes cartoony feel. You could actually kind of say this will be a superhero film because you see SpongeBob Patrick and Squidward as superheroes. Sandy, you only see her briefly, but if you look very close in this trailer, Sandy is actually just a regular squirrel. It's a, it's a glimpse look, so it's either like if you blink, you miss it. <laughs> I think that's really cool right there. There's a ton of hilarious moments, like the moment where Patrick is vandalizing his own home, that was very funny right there. Or that gag with the piano, that was clever. Or even the ending with uh, Spongebob, he's dodging all those cannonballs with that bubble thing he has on top of him. And then you hear that, da na 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 quang quang and then Patrick pops when the cannonball hits him in the face. That was very funny too. I'm also very happy that Sandy is involved in this adventure because of course, you know, Sandy, she only had like two lines. She was only in like two scenes in the first SpongeBob movie, which kind of disappointed me because of the fact that I really enjoy Sandy. She's one of the show's main characters and I feel like she, she should be more useful for the show. And I'm so glad she's going to be in this adventure. That already tells you that I might possibly enjoy this more than the first. And the storyline itself actually does look creative. I think it's also awesome that Antonio Banderas is going to be the pirate because he's an awesome actor. You know, we had a great cast in the first one. You know, we have Scarlett Johansson in which, oh, thank you. 
God. And then you had Alec Baldwin, you had David Hasselhoff in his live action cameo, you had Jeffrey Tambor, and in this one you have Antonio Banderas. Overall, I'm very pleased with this Spongebob trailer. To be honest, I actually didn't know that there was going to be a Spongebob trailer. I actually woke up to get ready for work, and Adam Haskell, who's a very nice guy, actually shared this trailer with me. On Facebook and I got to watch this trailer before I left for work so thank you so much Adam and actually guys I'll leave a link to Adam Haskell's channel in the description below that was a great way to start off my day before I had to leave for work and when I got back home from work let's just say I did watch this trailer 10 more times so you guys in the comments below tell me what did you think of this trailer for the Spongebob movie sponge out of water I know I'm excited my worries are officially over and it is I'm already gonna say it my most anticipated animated movie of 2015 the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, in 3D. Mr. Super Awesomeness, take him down. Maybe we should have picked a better superpower for you, Patrick. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have. Tiger Power!